now students let us start with the types of planes as we know that there are three types of planes first one structural planes second depositional planes and the third erosional planes let us start with the structural planes structural planes from the name itself it has a structure clear now these planes are formed due to the uplift and subsidence of land uplift and subsidence now how this uplift and subsidence cause due to diastrophic forces causes uplift of a portion of land beneath the ocean water or you can say that submergence of coastal land under the ocean water now these types of structure planes that is the structural planes they are formed due to the endogenic forces that is emergence and subsidence of land now as you all know that because of these forces acting on the surface of the earth such as folding and faulting takes place which can lead to emergence means rising of the land or you can say uh, rising of the land as planes or subsidence of the land and forms the plain now these extensive lowlands are bordering all the continents they are bordering all the continents example malabar coastal plain of kerala in india is formed by the upliftment of the continental shift the malabar coastal plain now the other examples of uh, the structural plains are the great plains of usa which are surrounded by the mississippi river missouri plains in the east and the rockies in the west so it's clear children the structural plain and these plains are the most natural lowlands that is the plain